the battle of life for the Secretary's race or to double door and go upstairs. Well, I was thinking about that. Okay. I will take a list of those for the appeal or against the appeal. Okay. We've had three artists speak that were against the appeal. Um, I think we have time if you be brief. We have four who have signed up who are for the appeal, two others who are going to speak against it. Um, the time frame we have, let's try to get through this as quickly as we can. Uh, someone has been a meeting, let me get both sides presented uh, on this first. Because they were here, I interrupted the process. I want to get some order to this right now. Those who are for are Amy Swagger. Oh, this is why I saw the video of I cannot read some of this right because I'm old. Can you check it out? Yeah. Anna Bromowitz and Francis Johnson. Reverend Johnson and then Elizabeth. Oh, I just wanted to say, I, my, my position is not against the Okay, let's finish the discussion, then we'll uh, take the proceedings from there. Okay, Angel. Stay there for right now. No, 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 but is that which method is this? Which method was used to pay for the comparison of chairs for everyone in the city? You would vote for the appeal. That's not my question. All right, so the, the way that everyone is seated now, it was, it was done where you live. Which is tough. Oh, 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 I thought I might come up here and get it clear. I don't know. Okay, if you vote for the appeal, I'm going to answer your question in this context. If you vote for the appeal, what you are voting for is that people in the district vote for the district chair. If you vote against the appeal, you're voting to uphold what we had put in writing, which is you, your county decides what district there is, and then everybody votes in that district. Does that answer your question? Where is our city now? Which way would okay. you prefer? This is going to be my home phone. You mean currently? Right now, they're supposed to get to. Which version is that? County. That was all based on your current actual uh, congressional district. No. 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 My county. County. No. My county. Let me finish. Let me finish. Where do you find Oh, 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 oh. Come to order. Let's get over. Go ahead, Mike. Where you are seated is based upon the congressional district that your county picked, what, four years ago? Who had come up for those that have been recognized for 
Let's go through the rest of them, and then we'll take any other discussion. Thank you. Thank you for allowing for debate, and um, thank you for putting up with having to stay a little bit longer, because this is very important. Uh, I am in DeKalb County. I'm a DeKalb County Dem. I'm a post holder. I'm a uh, 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 house chair for my uh, house uh, district. Sorry, it's end of the day. My brain cells are gone. Um, Sean was correct when he just came up here. The bylaws currently state that state committee members vote in the congressional district in which they live. That is the bylaws we are operating under in this meeting. I don't care what was presented in the summer. I don't care what we intend to do. I don't care what we want to do. We should be operating under the bylaws under which we are operating now. I did not receive, I don't know about all of you, maybe some of you got some really good communication from your congressional district chairs. I got nothing. I got no communication about this rule change that was supposedly communicated. I heard it through the grapevine two days ago. And we have been trying to get answers ever since that we heard the rule change. Because that very much affects us. I live in DeKalb. DeKalb is split into three different congressional districts. I am in Congressional District 6. However, DeKalb is assigned to Congressional District 4. And I don't mind that the CD4 person shows up at our DeKalb Democrats meetings and answers some questions for us. I don't mind that. But I do mind about who I vote for in the Congressional District Chair election here today because I have poured my heart and my soul into electing Democrats in the Congressional 6th District. I poured my heart and soul into electing John Ossoff, and even though we didn't win, I leveraged the organization that we created out of that election, and we built on that organization, and we cultivated it for a full year. And we not only did that, but then we parlayed it into electing Lucy McBath. Woo! And we not only elected Lucy McBath, we elected Sally Harrell, and we elected Beth Moore, and we elected Matthew Wilson, and we elected Mike Walensky because of what we were able to do in the 6th District. I don't know a thing about the 4th District. All due respect to Congressman um, Johnson, I, I have the utmost respect for him. I would love the opportunity to vote for him, but I don't get to. I get to vote for Lucy McBath. That is who I want to vote for in this election. I want to be able to say who should represent my congressional district that I'm going to pour my heart and soul into in the next race. Uh, I want to know who from this party is going to represent me. Thank you. That's right. Yeah. 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 Now I'm going to get those. And I would recognize these people first when they came up. I'm going to have some more of this. I'm going to finish the uh, debate part of it, and then we'll take other other directions. The next one is George. Uh, I'm, I'm taking the way to sign up, George. Hello, I'm George Cheney. I'm a post holder in uh, DeKalb. I'm running for the fourth chair. That's irrelevant. I'm going to speak quickly because nobody wants to be here late. You are all here because an army of activists in your home communities chose you to represent them at this meeting. And that army of activists in DeKalb aren't all in a fourth district. There are people who have been standing up and marching and knocking on doors for John Lewis and then for Lucy McBath. And those people expect us to give them representation on bodies that this, that this party creates. That's our responsibility. Our responsibility is to the activists out there who expect us to be responsive to their needs. So I'm asking you to take a, the interpretation of this, this rule and allow people to vote based on where they live and not on the county that, that um, not on the district that that county was assigned. I personally will lose support, like because I've got a lot of friends in the fifth and sixth district in DeKalb, and I, it doesn't matter my. It doesn't matter if I win or lose. Democracy is much, much more important than who wins or loses in this room. That's all I'm asking. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Anne Abramowitz. I'm going to be really brief because I agree with what Amy said and what George said. The only thing, I just want to tell my own story a little bit. I live in the 5th District, um, but I'm assigned to vote in the 4th District. Um, I just learned today the, this meeting that another uh, state committee member who lives in the 5th District is voting in the 5th District. A lot of my political work is in the 6th District because I work as Chief of Staff to State Representative Scott Holcomb, all of whose district is in the 6th District. And I've watched that phenomenon that Amy was talking about. I watched the people in the 6th District come together and elect all those people that she named. And all they're asking for here is representation by somebody that they elect for the 6th District. I want the same for the 5th District, but I especially want it for my colleagues in the, in the 6th District. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Rochelle. Hello there. First of all, uh, it's a long day. Current, the current situation, the counties elect stakeholders who live in the various districts within their counties. Then from the county, we elect state committee members. Now some state committee members may not necessarily live in the respective district, but all the county actually vote on the state committee members. I'm opposed to change right now because some of the people who live in the 12th district were voted to be sent here from some of the members in that counties from the 10th district. The current, the current structure allows for the counties to make that decision because various members of the county vote for the state committee members. And the counties that don't have, and, 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 and like in Effingham County, Effingham County has how many people? One. And Effingham County is in two districts. You have to split Tony in half. <laughs> in order for the person who lives in the other district to vote, then all of a sudden Effingham will be split, have to vote. The current structure allows for the county, we're always talking about letting the county decide, right? The counties make that decision. That's why our polls change. Thank you. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hahn. I'm the chair of Columbia County. Um, and Columbia County is one of these districts that's split between two, where the 10th and the 12th. Um, I personally, as a state committee member, I vote in the 12th district. My first vice chair votes in the 10th district. Um, right now, the counties have been allowed to make this decision. My executive committee, for instance, met when we were told we had some options, and we decided to stay working with the 10th district. Okay, and so those would be the people we work underneath. If whoever is elected as the congressional chair of the 10th district, we will work with that person. Doesn't mean we'll never have interaction with the 12th, but right now we've given that choice. Um, I know that I spent an hour, you know, on the phone with one of the candidates for the 10th district expecting me to be able to be one of the state committee members that was voting for him because we were working under the 10th. To change it right now seems, at least change what we had understood to be the case, um, it seems to be a sudden thing to do right this moment. Now I'm all for following the bylaws. Um, that's, not, that's not the issue, but communication here seems to be key. and, and I'm just concerned that we're making a change that's going to shuffle everyone. All my group will have to get up from the 10th and move over to the 12th, potentially, if we change this right now after an expectation of voting with the 10th. I would be more comfortable with the idea that we were tabling this and dealing with it later, although I'm sure that's not a popular idea. <laughs> chair of a little small rural town, Green County, and I'm also a state committee member with the right to vote. I'm from the 10th district, and one of the problems that I want to share with you is we haven't even had a congressional chair in the 10th district. I was out there all alone 
sending emails back and forth to Rebecca and to Sarah, sometimes getting help and sometimes not. So I don't see why we have to stand here and make changes now. It doesn't make sense. Especially when you haven't had the leadership that you thought you was going to have. Thank you. Democrats, this is an important decision, and I ask that you consider these uh, rationale as well. One, this is a democracy, and where you live does matter, especially in badly gerrymandered districts like the one I just ran for, the 12th Congressional District. All right. The sitting member of Congress, who still holds that seat, actually lives in Columbia County, and will be seated with the 10th Congressional District as opposed to the 12th Congressional District where we're aiming to take him out. That's the kind of nonsensical situation we find ourselves when we do it like this. And so I would urge you to consider that. The second highest source of Democratic votes for the 12th Congressional race and for whoever will be the standard bearer moving forward will come from Columbia County. And that district needs to be seated with the 12th Congressional District. And so I would urge you to follow the bylaws, appeal this decision, and with the balance of my time, I move the previous question. Mr. Chair, there's a motion on the floor to move the previous question. Move the previous question to close the debate and take two votes. Is that right? Phil, is that right? Call the question. Call the previous question. The question we call, Mr. Chair, is essentially a motion to cut off debate which requires a two-thirds vote. Okay. Are y'all ready to vote? Yes. Yeah. All for the uh, move for the previous question, raise your hand. Francis Johnson just moved for the previous question, which means that would stop debate. To do that, it needs a two-thirds vote to do that. And at that point, if it gets two-thirds, we will then vote. Okay? And I will clarify that vote as soon as this part's done. Um, have we got the staff to count the hands? Only state committee members are seated. Okay? So to make this easy for our folks. Or is there a challenge to move it for a previous? Is there an objection to the previous question? All right, if there is no objection to the previous question, we would go ahead and vote. Is that right, right Phil? All right, so if there's no objection, we'll take vote. All those who would be for the appeal, which would be you vote where you live, raise your hand. Oh, oh, oh. That is, that's right. The appeal. I'm so glad I Well, me too. If you, if you want to go with the ruling by legal count, you would vote no. Yes, that is. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to get it. No, no, no. I'm going to get this clear. No, no, I'm not going to recognize the show. I'm clear on explaining what this vote is. Mike, please come help me. Because I obviously have explained this where it's not clear enough. So let's get a vote. So, Mike. We have a majority. All right. Well, okay. Can they vote for the previous question? We are about to take a vote. I want it very clear on what the vote is. A previous question. What about that? Right. 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 So we're fixing a vote. The issue is whether we sustain the chair's ruling. Which is? Yes. It is.
where your county decides to go in, 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 in which congressional district the county decides to go. So if you want to keep that, you would vote against the appeal. A vote for the appeal is a vote where you will vote for congressional district where in the congressional district you live.
against the appeal is 67. So, uh, when you vote for your congressional chair, you would vote by where you live. If you're in the 4th Congressional District, you will vote for the Secretary of State's website and verify what congressional district they live in. I am not going to do that for everybody, but if there's someone that either doesn't know or they are being challenged, we can check that fairly quickly on the Secretary of State's website. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 